What's up YouTube, it's Razor. So, Time Lord's got new support, again. Last year they got Zaphion, Kamion, Lazion, Time Maiden, and Sadion. And now here recently they got Sandion, Michion, Raphion, Hail, Hail on, I think that's how you say that. Hail on, I don't know. And then Gabrion. And they also got these terrible trap cards as well. The reason why they're terrible is not because of their effects. It's because you need, so for number, you see that it's got like eyes or whatever. For this one, you need this one. And for the third one, you need the second one. So it's like, why? And the first one is effects not all that not as not all that great. You discard a card, discard a level ten, and you draw a card. So it's not that it's not that crucial to run this card. This card right here is insane, but you need the other two to be able to even use this card. So it's like I don't know why they decided to do that, but I figured the reason why I did that is because this card is overpowered. Like, if you use this card, you win. Like, you you just win. There's no way you will lose after you use this card. This card is literally a win condition. So, but it'd be too hard to pull off. Even though these cards can't be destroyed by card effects, which is pretty good. But... You need to be fast in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! So running trap cards is just not going to cut it. Especially when you could set your traps and then your opponent could just uh, chain at the end phase while these cards are face down and then they'll be destroyed. It wouldn't matter because they're face down. They don't get their immune to destruction effect. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into the deck. Triple Sandion, double Zaphion, double the old school. This was the old school uh, Time Lord. This one and um, Sephion. Uh, it's Medion, Kamion, double Lazion, triple Michion, double Raphion, triple Time Maiden, one for one. And also threw in a Brandish Engine as well. So there's a small Brandis engine in here. So skill jamming, triple ante, triple pod desires, triple advanced draw, uh, triple Brandis startup engage, one up start, double afterburner, and triple mecha hornet bit. And then the extra deck doesn't really matter. Uh, but we got rank 10s, of course, because the Time Wards are level 10. And then you got your Brandish engine. I wanted to mention something, though. If you have a Brandish card on the field, you will not be able to summon your Time Lords, because they can't be normal summoned unless you control no, uh, no monsters, so... But you can still get a you can still get them on the field with time maiden, even if you have a brandish on the field. If you have a time maiden, you can still summon the time lords. But just keep in mind, you would if you don't have the time maiden and you have a brandish monster on the field, you will not be able to summon your time lords. So it is kind of a drawback to run the uh, brandish cards, but you kind of need an engine to support the time lord. So. And I figured the Brandish engine is perfect for that. And the Brandish cards are not dead. Because the Time Lords go back to the deck at the standby phase. So you'll be free to use your Brandish spells. Without having to worry about having a monster on the field. So. Don't worry about the having to not be able to activate your Brandish cards. You'll always be able to activate them in this deck. No one runs Annie. I'm the only one that runs Annie and Time Lords. All the Time Lords have high levels, so 
you'll be guaranteed to discard a card from your opponent's hand if you use Annie. And it's a thousand burn damage, so good card. No one's gonna run it though. I'm the only one that runs it. So just figured I'd point that out. I did make a Tom Moore deck last year too, is um I used um let's see was it Vishnu? No, it's V Rash. Yeah. Last year I made the, when they got the new support, when they got um, Safion and all the other ones, I made an Annie Up It's Vishnu Lord deck, and it was really good. I decided not to run Vishnu this time, though. Or it's actually V-Rash, whatever. But last year it was called Vishnu. I guess Vishnu was OCG name, I guess, or something like that. But, yeah, I did have... I did run this last year. And it's pretty it was pretty good too because when you ritual summon it using this card, you get to draw a card, so it's it was pretty good. So it wasn't like it was a bad engine, it was a good engine, but I decided not to run it this time. And instead I ran the Brandis engine instead of the Cyber Angel engine. But yeah, that's about it for the deck. Just Time Lords and New Time Lords and the brand of spells and the brand of monsters. That's about it. So, and don't think about running the traps because they're not worth it. And that's all I really got to say. Go ahead and check out the duels. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Later.